hello we are going to see how to configure HA and DRS in vCentos Xot7 so so here we'll discuss why HA is required why DRS is required so DRS is required to uh, uh, to make resources available like whenever a ESX host is running on low resources DRS will automatically move the existing VMs to other ESXA box which is having resources whereas HA what it will do is whenever it detects an host failure it will migrate the VMs to other available ESXi host and it will reboot the VMs on that ESXi so <coughs> if you want to learn more about HA uh, I will be sharing this document in which they explained very well uh, this document is created by Duncan so why, why HA is used, how HA works, like what are the minimum requirements for HA, everything is mentioned clearly. So I'm not going to explain the theoretical part of HA. We'll discuss only how to configure HA and DRS in the vCenter. So, what are the minimum requirements for DRS? To enable DRS, we need a vMotion network. And uh, state data store. We already configured a vMotion network here. And uh, we need a store <coughs> shared storage between the ESXi boxes we already shown this like creating a shared storage in our previous video so now this vsan01 is already shared between the two ESXi boxes So we'll be we can't get the option to configure HADRS on ESXA level. We can do it only at cluster level. So here we are able to see like this PDRS is turned on. So when you click edit, you get the options. Okay, so here if you check this option the DRS will be enabled so here we are able to see the automation levels one is manual, partial and fully automated so fully automated when you select fully automated uh, the the DRS itself will manages like migrates all virtual machines and uh, uh, whenever resource crunches happen partial for partial automated like as we can see that it will suggest the migration of recommendations for virtual machines and for manual we need to migrate the virtual machines manually when the DRS suggests so we have a couple of options like proactive DRS virtual machine automation and these things so we'll be we'll be going for default
so what is this power management so this will be configured when you configure this uh, like it will directly work communicates with the uh, like hardware ILOs whenever the resource utilization is nil the <coughs> The automation level what what it will do is it will set like it will make the ESXA box to sleep more so that power consumption will be less whenever the resource utilization increases automatically it will bring the ESXA online so this is HA so to turn on the HA we need to check the box turn on proactive HA is nothing but whenever HA detects hardware failures on a ESXA box it will immediately migrate the VMs can see here so it works proactively once this is enabled, we'll click OK. Now the HNDRS is enabled. It will take some time. So the configuration is completed. So what I'm trying to show you is like what happens when when we enable HA. So when we enable HA, what it will do is it will it will push a it will push a HA file to the to the data store where it will on all uh, ESXA boxes it will keep an uh, a file updated file uh, like and that file will be updated frequently so this is these are the files information about the host
so this is the agent fdm agent fault domain management so as i told you will be able to see in depth information about how ha will work here like everything is mentioned here so just go to this document i will be adding this document to the uh, to my video so here they mention what are the prerequisites for ha what are the firewalls to should be open so <coughs> So everything clearly mentioned here components of HA what is FDM what is FDM agent where it stores so this is the log file where it updates frequently like FDM.log just go through this document it's very useful Thanks for watching.